Good to have you back. Thank you very much. How was your trip? It was lovely. Thank you so much. It's really, really good to be back. I missed you guys. Okay? Yeah, well, we really missed you too. So, Aww. but you're a big tea fan, right? I am a big tea fan. So we brought you back on the perfect episode. Very much so. And speaking mm -hmm. of traveling, Tealit have been doing traveling of them of, by themselves as well. Um, they've been doing the amazing tea race, which mm -hmm. is exploring lots of different tea growing regions around the world. So I have. Michael and Elise here to talk about that amazing adventure that they went on. Yeah, we, um, we uh, run an online farmer's market for tea. It's mm -hmm. uh, tealet.com. And uh, we work with independent tea growers around the world. And um, the, the season of when uh, the fresh tea is coming to market is uh, spring. Like uh, the, the warmer weather comes out, the fresh new tea comes out. And that is like the most prized tea um, in the market. And so um, it was uh, traditioned that um, the, uh, the clipper chips, uh, ships uh, coming from China to, to London would have races to who, who got the tea back the first and they got the highest price in the market. So awesome. kind of played on that. Um, we went to seven different countries, 14 different growing regions and uh, met with all these really amazing farmers. We were there with them as they were harvesting that tea, processing the tea and um, uh, capturing all kinds of videos and photos and stories and now we've come back we're sharing those stories and then we're also uh, doing commerce for them. So we do logistics, uh, payments and uh, marketing for them so that they can directly connect with buyers um, internationally. That's really cool. Yeah. And I hear that the media has, that you've been uploading to the internet has kind of been taking Reddit by storm and all sorts of that, that those kind of things too. Yes, I mean, uh, I mean all, all the farmers have their own sort of uh, unique uh, personalities and character. <laughs> And uh, in each situation we were in, you know, being so so quick, had its own dynamic and sort of pressures on where we need to be at uh, weather and just just really at uh, time. So, you know, definitely captured a lot of um, just sort of uh, surprising, you know, sporadic and um, a lot of uh, also uh, the the culture. You know, that was one thing that we mm -hmm. went through and asked them. It was like, please take us to your village, take us through your town. Uh, we want to capture. We want to capture that. That's because so cool. That's sort of part yeah. of the storytelling yeah. of of sort of connecting the uh, consumer with where their sort of tea is coming from, where yeah. it's being well, produced, see some and, of those how photos. It's, and how it's being produced. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So by doing that, you know, sort of like telling them, like, I want, I want to go to see how how do you prepare like you know your sort of organic fertilizer to you know feed your plants. Like, show me unique processes and like you know those those were the, the farmers where you know like that we're looking for is like farmers that have a passion mm -hmm. on what they're on what they're doing and you know it's more like just small um, you know small quantity high you know, like high quality you know and that's those are the really unique you know uh, teas that we're, we're, we're out uh, sourcing that's really cool that you get to yeah. share this story and educate like what was your favorite region that you went to at least um, definitely Nepal just the spirit of the people, just awesome. These guys are like always dancing. Like we were, <laughs> we have like 30 minutes of footage of us and like 12 people inside like a little Jeep dancing to music, yeah. just like so having Bonnie, the time Bonnie, of our Bonnie. life. Bonnie, 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 just trust me, there's gonna be something coming out. And it's yeah. gonna be a new hype thing. We're making a lot of fun videos. I mean, we captured like two hours of us dancing around a bonfire. Like wow. we were processing mm. tea all night and dancing and eating really great food. And um, people really cared about each other. Like there were some other regions, there was some like interesting politics to say the least. Um, <laughs> and people were just making decisions that really weren't thinking about everybody else. Um, you know, and that's us too. We had to be cautious of when we get into those kind of business partnerships. And But in Nepal, I felt like everybody was just so like free, so open. Um, like we're from Hawaii, it's like the, the aloha spirit. It's like you open your heart to people and that's how you do business. That's how you oh, that's build cool. relationships and that's how Nepal was. And um, beautiful countryside. I got a ride on a, a motorbike huh. with the farmer for like two hours Aww. through the mountains of the, the Himalayas. Just You got the local tour. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, it was great. Cool. It was fantastic. So what's the video that you brought us today? Yeah, so in particular, you've been kind of sharing some humorous sides yeah. of tea growing as well. Yeah, right? well, like you said, we optimize it for Reddit, so it's all like <laughs> meme friendly. Like we sell most of our product through Bitcoin, and so we're, we're like really trying to optimize to that, that audience. And so um, almost getting to like YouTube celebrity, you know, status. <laughs> Famous and yeah. yeah, so there's two growers in particular. They're good friends, but um, I felt like on this trip when we went to go visit them, one in Taiwan and one in Japan, they were like in competition with each other. And so they asked us to make this video of them 
kind of, you know, clashing together and, and competing with each other. And um, we're here drinking tonight, so this is a tea drunk. It's a representation <laughs> of what it's like to get tea drunk with Aki and Alfredo. All right, let's Thanks. roll the video. Thank you guys for coming out. I really Thanks. appreciate it. Yeah, the story.